it's uh, been a while since I've done an update video. I was waiting because I thought for sure the seroma was going to be healed. And, uh, and I wanted to get on and say, yay, it's all healed. This is how long it took. But um, it's taking way longer than I thought. I had a tummy tuck and a breast lift with no augmentation on May 5th of this year, 2014. And it is July 13th, 2014. So I'm at about nine weeks post-op. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll see that I've been struggling with the seroma. Uh, pretty much since um, five, six days after my drains came out. Um, and I've been having that treated locally because um, the um, plastic surgeon who did my surgery, Dr. Sergio Sobranis in Tijuana, Mexico, um, won't return any of my messages. So um, that's pretty frustrating. But um, nevertheless, uh, we had it drained for the first uh, five weeks. We kept draining it. It was like 60 cc's the first three times, then 30 cc's. Um, at six weeks, we injected a sclerosing agent into the seroma, and um, that uh, achieved some healing. So let me show you kind of. Um, I got a bikini on. Here's... Um, my incision obviously and we were accessing the seroma right around here where it's all you know kind of damaged looking um, and that part healed it healed all the way pretty much up to eh, up to here and then um, I, w I went back the next week or ten days later and we put some in um, this side and this side had healed. Uh, we tried to squeeze it over to the other side. I didn't feel like this side really ever healed. And then now it's back, um, you know, where it goes across again. There's hardly any in there. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. But last time I, uh, when we went in to inject the sclerosant, there was about 15 cc's. I'd say that's what's in there now. We just did that a couple days ago. Um, this time when he uh, did the sclerosant, he used a stronger agent and then took it out after about five minutes and that didn't seem to have worked at all, unfortunately. Uh, we had a 10 day follow up or 14 day follow up, um, but I'm going to call him Monday and say, hey, you know, uh, let's go back to what we were doing because I did get it to um, the middle to heal. The left side had healed, but because I didn't go in and have anything done with the right side eventually it spread back over to the left side again. But the front middle is healed, um, which means I, I really feel like that was working. Um, and hopefully one or two more times of that and it'll really be healed. But yeah, um, the tummy tuck came out nice. I just ate, so uh, this is if I hold my stomach muscles taut. This is how it looks. If I just kind of let it all hang out, you know, it looks like that. But um, I'm not sucking it in. If I suck it in, that's this is sucking it in. Um, I could suck it in even tighter, but I'm not sure I have enough skin to suck it in that tight. Um, but if I just hold my stomach muscles taut, um, this is what we've got. And again, there's still a little bit of fluid in here, about a quarter cup. Um, the breasts don't look any better than they, you know, did in my other videos. So if you want to see um, how disappointing those came out, essentially, you know, the areolas came out really high. Uh, this one's off to the side. This breast has a big lump. If you look down, it kind of comes out, goes in the middle, comes out, and it's got a big lump on this side. Um, I didn't get implants, um, and if we uh, remove some of the skin and tuck it up and under, then uh, you know the nipples are pointing out this way and they, they're in a better place. But it also is just because you're making my boobs that much smaller. <laughs> Um, which again is, is disappointing because I thought, you know, I had enough mass and flesh and I just wanted them, um, you know, reshaped with the nipples in the right place because before they were, you know, way down uh, and, and the breasts themselves. I have uh, tons of videos, so go back and, and look, like see the slideshow one where I have the photos that I sent to the plastic surgeon. Um, and then after, you know, where I sent more pictures to the plastic surgeon about getting them fixed and it shows all the different ways that they got messed up. Um, and then, yeah, if, I, if I'm real careful and keep 
my bikini top just so I think with the padding I can keep it in. Um, obviously with as uh, high as the scar is, um, you know, I'm going to need much bigger bikini bottoms, which is a shame because I thought these looked really cute on my butt. I mean, not that I think I'm all that or whatever. Sure, it's dimply. It's got cellulite. I mean, it's not perfect, but as good as my butt can look, you know, I feel like um, these bikini bottoms did that for me. Um, so yeah, still have the Seroma, have a lot more energy, um, which is maybe why I haven't been sitting down and doing videos, I don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. All the string is, is done popping out. I guess think I wanted to talk about that. If you can see where the incision looks blurry or where there's a big spot, like right here. That's where uh, internal incision string um, broke its way out through the incision. And, um, and I had to deal with that for eh, the first six weeks, pretty much. It started at about three weeks in, and then, um, you know, finally it's all done. The incision itself, uh, scar is really thin and white. Um, I don't think I have a good enough camera to see that, but all that pink blurry is from the internal incisions. Uh, let's see. What else? There's some little scarring here just from where we've been poking it with the needle. This um, scar here, we poked it right in the scar this time, um, is my 10 year old scar from when my uh, gastric band was put in. That's where they put the access port in, it's the biggest scar. And then uh, when my HMO damaged and replaced it, they made this scar up here. This is like three or four years ago. So if you wonder what these might look like, you know, uh, 10 years from now, it'll look like this one. You know, three years from now, it'll probably look like that one there. That um, don't look that bad. And then uh, I still, you can still see the bruising and stuff along here. Uh, from the lipo and everything and that actually still uh, hurts sometimes when I move wrong um, and then uh, swelling on my hips I've been sleeping on my side so I've got some swelling there and I need some sun but yeah I think that that was everything um, thanks for watching uh, if you have any questions send me a message and uh, and I'll be happy to respond have a great day